Hey there, Generals. Welcome back. It's our first show after the holiday break. Um, it is nice to be back in the studio. We've got, of course, uh, Nick and Gary, our ASB president. We've got Tyson Dozier, our uh, sports guy. I can't think of it. Boys Athletics. It's been a little rough, as you can tell already. Um, so the holidays, let's start off there. Since we've all been gone, we've, the show's been on hiatus for a while. Um, how was your guys' holidays? What do you guys think? What, what, how, how did it go in a COVID year? Was there any difference or was it, was it any better or worse? What do you guys got? Um, for me personally, like it was a smaller crowd, a lot less family, more like, um, like just grandma, a few cousins, not, not as much, not nearly as much as it usually is, but, um, overall it was just a lot more peaceful, you know, just stay together with your family and just share the holidays with them. That sounds good. How about you, Tyson? Uh, for me, it was, um, we went and dropped off a few presents, um, we went to like my grandparents' house and dropped off their presents, um, wearing masks and stuff. We only we, we chatted for about a, for a few minutes and then we went our separate ways. Um, but it was a very small small crowd. I mean, it was just in my my people in my house, so uh, we just opened presents on Christmas Day and hung out with in, uh, in, in, in um, with our family in our house. There you go. Ours was uh, very similar, same thing, only in, uh, only the immediate family. We traditionally have a huge party, like I said, the last show, and we didn't do that. So it was really just my parents and my wife and our son and my brother. And then we had uh, Mrs. Saravino came over, of course, kind of hangs out with our family. And we did Christmas and did all that. Steve. So it was pretty low key. It was, it was a good time. Um, what was your best? What was the best gift you got? Did you get a really cool gift? Anybody get anything you're like, oh, my favorite thing I got this year? Is there anything that you guys can think about stands out? I Honestly, I really oh, Nick, uh, what do you got? Oh, I, I don't know. Food. I was happy with the food. That, uh, that's all I get. I was cool with the food. I didn't get nothing too expensive or anything. I was just happy I got to eat. I like, I like that. On the food note, I'm going to go ahead and take it there for a second before we go on to Tyson's because – I, this year, traditionally, you always see lots of people and you get all kinds of stuff delivered to you and you have so much just junk that's there, those cookies and everything else. I, in the middle of the night at 1233, decided that I realized I didn't have any fudge. And so I made a post on Facebook and lo and behold, uh, the answer was called and uh, the Red Rifle himself there actually dropped off fudge the next day at my doorstep. And I will tell you, it was delicious fudge because I got on to him about making not homemade stuff. And I believe, did you make that, Tyson? Was that you? Or was that your mom? Uh, I helped my mom make it. I helped my okay. mom make it. And, and, and I'm very Red critical Red when Red it comes. Red. Yeah, when I'm very critical when it comes to food. And I will tell you that it was very good. It was a very gritty, quality fudge uh, that makes the, I don't want it so like creamy. That, to me, just defeats the purpose. Um, so I like the grittiness of it. And unfortunately, the whole tray got eaten, and ninety percent of it by me. So that's why I look much larger already than the last. Um, I didn't need that fudge. My scale told me that a week ago, but um, it was awesome, and I do appreciate that. Um, so on the food topic, I appreciate that. So Tyson, what what gift did you? Is there anything that stuck out in your mind, like you you were happy to get, or was it something that was a cool thing? Uh, I got a massage gun this year, so. Um... It was pretty cool. I mean, it helped out. It helped me uh, get less sore during the during the break. Okay, I like that. My favorite thing on on that same note, my favorite gift I got chirp wheels. So if you don't know what those are, they're to stretch out your back <laughs> and you roll on a wheel thing. So look it up at the Shark Tank product. It was a quality gift. My wife gave it to me, and uh, that probably was my favorite gift. Um, transitioning, as you know, we've come back now. It's our we're almost to the second semester. We're going to start. You know. Things are transitioning here, and and what do we have coming up? I know Nick, you were going to talk about something we have coming up here fairly soon. Yes, yeah, something very very important. Homecoming. Homecoming will be on February first. We will be announcing the theme of homecoming next week. That's right. So uh, the week of February first to the fifth, we're going to do homecoming. It'll be a virtual homecoming this year. We pushed it off. Obviously, we were hoping we'd be back in person and we had a football game, but. Right now, we don't know if that's going to take place, so we wanted to go ahead and get that going. So Nick is correct. Virtual homecoming, February 1st, 5th. Like I said, we're going to go through and we'll reveal the theme next uh, on next week's show. 
kind of a cool thing. Uh, we do have the big thing, as we know, we're coming up to, and traditionally, because a normal year, we would have already had done this, uh, but we're now going into finals, and we're doing virtual learning, computer distance learning finals. Um, so what kind of advice can you guys give to all of our fellow students out there? Like, what, what can they do to maybe prepare themselves for the finals and do the best they can? Um, see, one thing I know that you can do is um, organize your notes. Make sure you know where they're at and, you know, have them wherever you can, you know, you can find them. So you're not struggling trying to look through them. And secondly, make sure you wake up and you just uh, mentally prepare yourself in the morning, you know, get ready and get get focused. Um, another another tip I could give is uh, is to get enough sleep. Um, going, setting a schedule for yourself, maybe Monday, uh, Monday or Tuesday before the finals, just getting yourself ready for many, mentally preparing yourself for the finals, getting enough sleep. And uh, a lot of the new year, new me people out there uh, want to eat good. So you want to eat enough, you want to eat good meals so you can have enough energy to get through the finals. I think those are all good advice. I've clearly eaten enough for all of us over this break. Um, <laughs> So I, we, you guys will be fine with your finals, I have no doubt. Um, I do think, though, that is correct. I think especially with a lot of teachers going to probably do, there'll be some open book stuff because obviously we're doing distance learning, so how are you really going to stop the kid from looking? Um, I do think that uh, organizing your notes. I know as a student back when I was in high school, if it was an open book test, I did worse on those tests because I wouldn't study for them, thinking I would have everything ready to go, and I'd look up answers, and guess what? I'd run out of time. So I, I do think that's a good one. Um, obviously sleep and eating everything's really good. I love the fact that Tyson is frozen right now with a great smile on his face and that Nick has low <laughs> bandwidth. That's why he shrunk away. The show is rough. It's it's kind of on its own vacation and our, our help, you know, over here, Don, he's not the best. So uh, we'll keep it up. Uh, but we're going to wrap it up. We, you know, we got finals coming up here. We just discussed that. But I want to know uh, what you guys got planned this weekend, as usual. Uh, what's going on with you, Tyson? We lost Tyson. Uh, Don just informed me Tyson's been lost. Um, he's somewhere in space. Uh, we will go to, to uh, Nick. What do you got for this weekend? You know what I've got this weekend. We're hanging out with the boys. Yes, sir. You are, you know. Okay. I like that. That's, that's a good thing. I know uh, this weekend, I believe, is more dieting on my end um, and hopefully hanging out with just the family. As you can see, we're kind of having some issues here technically at talking with generals. Uh, that's okay. We're, we're probably all at a sugar high still from all that deliciousness over the week or a couple weeks. So I want to thank you for tuning in. Next week, we're going to reveal the theme of homecoming. Uh, we want to come up with some ideas for you. Uh, if you have anything you want to share with us, reach out to us, reach out to Nick, reach out to Tyson, reach out to Pompa, reach out to me. Um, we'll talk about the show for you. We're here for you. We appreciate everything you do. Looking forward to seeing you guys, hopefully one day in person, hopefully soon. Keep it going until next week. Thank you very much.